Okay, um, so we're just doing a quick response video to a question that was asked. Uh, we are doing a comparison between um, using the 3G network uh, between Android and, um, and an iPhone. And uh, this is going to be different in everyone's situation because based on distance from a cell phone tower right. um, and what you're shielded by between you and the cell phone tower. Right, so the, I think the, the original question was, um, are you, is it better to uh, use your phone uh, in, the cellular data, in the cellular mode or, or use Wi-Fi? Wi um, so, um, and that depends on how far you are away from a cell phone tower. Mm -hmm. So in this case, we're sitting at the 9CI office uh, the nearest cell phone that's that's providing service on multiple networks is about uh, 350 mm -hmm. meters away, something like that. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to show is that um, actually, if you're that distance, sort of there's this distance, uh, an ideal distance to be from a cell phone tower. Uh, my experience is sort of between 350, 400 meters to 1,000 meters. Then your phone doesn't have to transmit at a high power level. Mm -hmm. Um, but you're far enough away from the cell phone tower that you're not getting horribly irradiated. Right. I and mean, if you're close, closer than 350 meters, then the cell phone tower itself is going to give you lots of exposure, mm -hmm. but your phone isn't. And then if you're further than about a kilometer, a thousand meters away, then your phone has to start cranking up the power. Mm -hmm. So, but um, we're going to demonstrate that in this case, actually, um, Kayla is going to call me or I'm going to call her. Yeah. Um, the background radiation is somewhere around 50 microwatts per square meter with peaks up in the 80s or something like that. So um, we're going to uh, speak to each other on the phone and pretend that we can't hear each other in person right now. <laughs> okay. And uh, using... I can't hear you. <laughs> using the cell phone. Um, <laughs> network and the back. So I'm going to call... Yeah, we just hold it. First. Yeah. Um, initially, there will be a jump in the uh, uh, in in the signal, um, but once we start talking, it should be good. Sixteen hundred, it jumped up to. My phone got it up to eight, um, almost seventeen thousand. Okay, so when when you're initially, so now we're connected to each other on the phone. Yeah. Hi, Kayla. Hi, Bruce. Oh yeah, you sound familiar. Um, so um, when you're connect when you're connecting on a, on a cellular phone, there's a lot of power used initially to establish the communication. Mm -hmm. And then when you end your phone call, there's a, you're gonna see when we end this phone call, there'll be a, 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 large, a large blip on the network as well. And so, um, okay, you've got your phone behind. So there's gonna be some variability depending on where the antenna is. But the point is, right now, we're talking to each other using cell phone towers and the background radiation level is the same as it was before because these phones don't have to transmit at a high power level at all. Mm -hmm. So you're actually way better off in this case uh, compared to Wi-Fi, which we'll show you next. And maybe um, we'll see if it works for this portion of the video. But mm -hmm. when I hang up, uh, I'm going to hang up without on you. Without I already hung up. You already hung yeah. up on me? Okay. Call you again. 14,000 to 40,000. It's probably getting both. Okay. Okay. Right. So we're on there now. And um, if I hang up. Yeah. Jumped up to about 200. Yeah. Jumped up a little bit at the end there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So not as high as I thought it was going to jump up, but you can't expect that. So anyway, not a problem. In other words, what we're saying is that the radiation from the cell phone tower is is pretty much the same as as talking on your on your cell phone mm -hmm. but if we'd be further away then that's an issue yeah. so we're going to do another call um this time on the lte network yeah we're switching lte and uh, one thing i found with this phone the apple iphone 6s uh is is that on lte this thing uh doesn't seem to throttle the power down we'll see if it's if it's doing that um but yeah that's why um, I have this phone on 3G, um, just the, the amount of RF exposure is way less. So mm -hmm. uh, we're both on LTE mode, and let's see what happens now when uh, Kayla calls. So, so there's the background. 100, yeah. 1,000. There, now she look at... 10,000, 12,000. Look at this. My phone 5, is... 5,000. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, I'm picking up... You might be picking up mine. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm seeing like 500,000, something like that. It already peaked to 670. And the thing is, 
we're very close to the cell phone tower mm -hmm. and my phone is not throttling back power and if i put it over here um kayla's phone talking on the lte network mm -hmm. looks like it's throttling power very well and and my phone is actually messing up her her meter readings yeah. there <laughs> So just a case in point, um, it, I don't know if it applies to all iPhones, but if you've got a meter, try switching your mode from LTE to 3G. Um, 3G is still reasonably fast. And, I would not recommend 2G. <laughs> yeah, 2G, no, that's, a, that's, a, that's another video we yeah. could do. Um, but uh, I'm going to hang up because this thing is crazy amounts of power coming out of this, right, in LTE mode. Yeah. I'm going to switch this Mine phone doesn't back. go beyond 15,000 usually. Interesting. That's concerning Between, like, to me. Between like two and five usually for most of the call, but going down to like a couple hundred. So, yeah. so now we are going to talk to each other on WhatsApp and we're both connected to a local Wi-Fi network, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, do you want me to call you this time? Um, I can call you. call me? You. Okay. Just call. And I'm seeing... 20,000, 24, 60, 70. Yeah, so same same here. Yeah, 20, 20. 23, 24,000, something like that. It should be roughly the same. The Wi-Fi antenna is closer down here for this, but yeah. So the point being that um, with Wi-Fi, regardless of where you are to the Wi-Fi router, um, Wi-Fi uh, Relatively radios, continuous. They're 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 broad, they're transmitting at at a fixed power level all the time. Wi-Fi does not throttle the power down. It it doesn't sense that you're closer to the Wi-Fi router. So mm -hmm. even if you're sitting a few feet away from a wireless router, you're still going to get lots of radiation. So what we're showing in this case is clearly if you're within a sweet spot of a cell tower, just use your cell network. Use the cell network and have have some sort of meter just to confirm mm -hmm. uh, what we're talking about. But uh, this whole concept of, of, of cell phone being something that's dangerous, I'm going to hang up so we don't uh, uh, yeah, irradiate I, ourselves. The, the, you know, cell phone uh, being a, a thing that you should, you know, avoid at all costs. Well, it, it, it depends on where you are to the cell phone tower. Yeah, and your level of sensitivity as well. Uh, level of sensitivity, but... Uh, the, be smart about the way you're yeah, doing so, your environment. By default, I'll use hands-free mode all the time, mm -hmm. but uh, because I know I'm a certain distance from a cell phone tower that's far enough away that the cell phone tower isn't a problem, mm -hmm. um, the phone isn't having to transmit at a high power level, so it's, it's actually not, not a bad way to communicate then. Yeah, phone calls. And the first one we're going to do is data. So just using WhatsApp. And we'll see spikes of about, oh. That's a bit higher than I expected. 10,000, I guess, <laughs> for that one. It's still ringing. Once it connects, it should drop down a bit. So I put 15, 12, 500. Yeah. Alrighty, and then we're gonna switch it up and do Wi-Fi. Alrighty, this is just in response to a comment we received on our channel. Uh, we are going to be making calls using data and Wi-Fi using WhatsApp. So this first one is a data, mobile data call. All right, we got about 500 there. Yeah, so not super high. Mobile data again. Wow, okay. Interesting. Okay. Alrighty, and now we're going to do a call over Skype using mobile data for both uh, just audio and then a video call. Okay. So, spike foot with 1600, 1100 there, yeah, okay. And then one for video, and see if that one's any worse. Hmm. 1900, so not a big difference. 
Alrighty, so now it's a Skype call over Wi-Fi using audio. All right, about 2,200 there. Spikes go about 1,600. Then we'll reset that max, and then we'll do one for video. Okay, about 1,700 there. Oh, a spike of 1,800 at the end there. Alrighty, so this is just in response to a comment made on one of our other videos. I will be making a call on older generation, so 2G only, and we will be measuring the difference and comparing it between the two meters. So I will be calling Ian, our intern, and measure the difference. So I'm reading uh, roughly like 150,000 spikes, 1,000 microwatts per meter squared on the Pro, and 150 thousand ish 90,000 milliwatts 90 milliwatts so like 90,000 same thing um, yeah so that's 2g let's go up to 3g do the same thing reset that 3g only Call them again. Seventeen hundred, two thousand spikes, and roughly point oh five milliwatts for the coronet. Now let's try a combination of 2G and 3G, auto connect, reset that just so we can see, and it immediately goes up to 5,000 milliwatts, roughly 5 microwatts. These, this seems to be doing a bit better, the Cornet and the Pro are reading roughly the same. Let's give that a second to settle down. All right, and let's try it with LTE, 2G, and 3G. So all four, or all three, connected, same time. Fifteen hundred, roughly thirty-four hundred. Got a spike there of two thousand. Looks like three thousand over here on the cornet. Alrighty. So that's pretty interesting. The older generations have a much higher readings, which kind of makes sense. Alrighty. And... Alrighty, and this is receiving a call on 2G from a roughly five meter difference through a wall. There we go, you can hear it in the background. And this is the same thing on 3G. Waiting for the phone call. There we go. Through the wall. <laughs>